Time now for the morning rush. Political candidates have been flooding the TV airwaves in the race for governor. Republican candidate Mark Ronchetti has spent $3.2 million, with more than 70% of that going to TV ads. Meanwhile, Governor Lujan Grisham has spent more than $3.5 million, with more than 60% of that on TV ads. Those figures in the governor's race do not include the political action committee ads. Advocates who help survivors are calling on city leaders to step up and make domestic violence cases a priority. The Domestic Violence Victim Advocates Group is asking for a new unit within Albuquerque Police Department specifically for domestic violence cases. APD says the goal is to create a domestic violence unit, but right now they don't have enough officers. The search continues this morning for a man with a long criminal history. Video from February shows a chaotic chase on I-25 after Paul Matas and ended with gunfire and with Matas wounded. Matas was booked into the San Miguel County Detention Center, bonded out for $5,000. Since then, court records show that he has skipped out on court. Erica. Temperatures this morning for the school day starting out in the 40s, so make sure to layer up. By this afternoon, we'll be nice and mild with some higher clouds, but dry skies. On to more news for you now. The man who killed a Manzano High School student will be serving out his life sentence. Isais Madrid was 17 years old when he shot Jaden Chavez Silver in a drive by outside of a house party in the Northeast Heights in 2015. Yesterday, his defense attorneys argued that he was entitled to an amenability hearing given to juveniles to determine if they can be rehabilitated. In the end, Judge Britt Baca Miller denied that motion. The FBI is on the lookout for a man who robbed a Santa Fe bank. The man held up the first national bank at St. Francis in Cordova yesterday. The feds have dubbed him the skinny swoosh bandit. If you know who he is, you're asked to call police. There is a $2,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Erica. And here's a look at our Metro Threat Index. It is low today. We'll be waking up with chilly temperatures this morning, but no other issues for the morning commute. Happening today, President Biden is expected to announce the release of 15 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Reserve. The announcement will complete the release of an authorized 180 million barrels over the past six months. The move comes as gas prices are rising once again. The IRS is making adjustments because of high inflation rates. The agency will set higher earnings limits on some tax brackets in order to avoid bracket creep. Other changes include raising the standard deductions for various tax filing categories. Erica. All right, let's get a check on traffic. The maps are looking clear. No accidents or slowdowns. And trackers going west on I-40 near Rio Grande, where everything is moving nicely at speed. Well, you can have your cake at an exhibit in Los Angeles. Uh, Cakeland is an immersive art gallery built to make you feel like you're walking through a giant, dazzling, multi-layered cake. It's a series of maze-like rooms that were built from the ground up out of what looks like a lavishly decorated cake. Time now for the five facts. At number five, noisy cars may soon be a thing of the past in Albuquerque. Three city councilors are proposing a resolution to install noise cameras. Now, those would detect excessively loud cars, allowing the city to hand out fines. Councilor Isaac Benton says there is a growing need for them here. And he says if the resolution passes, the noise cameras could go up within six months. On to number four. Now, some big changes being proposed for two major west side thoroughfares. The city wants to hear from you. Officials are hosting two public meetings to go over the preliminary designs for Paseo east of Unser and Unser north of Paseo. The plans include more lanes, bike and pedestrian improvements, new signals and lighting. Those meetings are today at noon and 530 at the Taylor Ranch Community Center. And at number three, today is going to be quiet and mild across the state from morning. We are cool, but by this afternoon, we'll be back into the 60s and 70s. Moving on to number two. Now the search continues this morning for a man with a long criminal history after he's been on the run again from law enforcement. Video from February shows a chaotic chase on I-25. This was near Las Vegas after police say Paul Mares ran a stop sign that chase ended in gunfire. Mares was wounded. Officers discovered that he was on a GPS monitoring device from another case and was supposed to be in Santa Fe at his home while awaiting trial. Then in June, Mata sped away from officers once again. He was booked into the San Miguel County Detention Center but bonded out for $5,000. He has since uh, not responded to or skipped out on court, I should say, since that case. And at number one, as domestic violence cases continue to go up across the nation, advocates who help survivors are calling on city leaders to step, on, step up and make these cases a priority. The Domestic Violence Victim Advocates Group sent a letter to Albuquerque's mayor and the chief of police asking for a new unit within APD to deal with those kind of cases. APD says the goal is to create a domestic violence unit, but right now they do not have enough officers. They recently received a $150,000 grant to provide domestic violence services at crime scenes.